Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm with a new Nissan Aria and the new multimedia system. And today I want to show you how easy it is to connect your iPhone to this new multimedia system. Also the same way with Android Auto, I will make also a separate video with Android phone. But now let me show you how simple it is. First of all, once the card is started, you can go to home and then from home you go left and you go uh, add new connection no device add connection uh, add device go here in bluetooth in your phone and go all the way down it should appear right here but first of all let it open and wait a second now it will try to connect it i did connect it before and i don't remember my car it should be one of these my car here i'm not sure which one it is let me wait a second maybe it's this one it should work or not i'm not sure one of these it is because many cars use this my car and i try it also with other nissan uh, with Qashqai and also x-trail and it's not this one probably it's the last one so probably it's this one here let's see if it connect if not we will try again we will go back and once you go to here to the devices you go add device if you go add device it will try to search for it let me wait a second probably it's the one in the middle maybe it will appear here one more time because it says select my car and you see i have like free my cars here it's probably the one in the middle yes it was the one in the middle you see i press it and then it says put this pin you you press this pin OK, you go allow, and once you do that, it will appear on the screen like, uh, do you want to connect Apple CarPlay? Yes, I want to connect that. And then it will connect it on the phone, it's appear nothing, and then it's just connected and you don't need any cable. It's that easy, guys, it's that easy. Uh, it's all over the screen, this is the great part. I mean, you can see all over the screen and it will appear here a new shortcut. You can see icon here on the side, so if you want to go in the Apple, you play it. If you want to go back to home, you go to home and you go in the home menu. And if you want to go to normal navigation of the car, you go here in the navigation of the car. And if you want to go in Apple CarPlay, you just play uh, here. So it gets you directly there. So you can use also the map from the phone here. So you can see uh, this is the map from the phone. And also um, you can use the Google if you have Google installed it and I have it installed it on the phone so if you you can use also the Google map if you want to and also here you have all the application that you have it installed it on your phone so like zoom whatsapp telegram Spotify um, CNBC and wherever you have here it's very simple it works really fine and I like that very much now your question of course it is uh, will appear the navigation on the screen because I have many people ask me that uh, recenter so I think you have to write it there search for example let's search for a gas station uh, and let's choose this one and then start it and the question is will appear on the cockpit this map and I will give you the answer right now so for example going to the map this is the map and you can see it doesn't appear here so that's the thing if you have it here it doesn't appear on the digital cockpit so sadly but true another question is the voice command you can use the voice command you press it here three seconds navigate to paris getting directions to paris france so it works yes you can see how easy it is and it works quite fine and this is this is great and also you can ask also different other questions route to Paris like for Proceed example to Ben Zurich stress then turn right how many degrees are outside it's one degree outside it's one degree yeah so guys this is cool I mean this is the way it works this is how simple it is and it's awesome I mean it's super responsive you have all the information right here if you still have questions ask me down below i hope the video was useful don't forget to like share subscribe stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys